Hi everybody, Ryan Horn from RyansTechTips.com. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how a student can join a Google Classroom if they have a class code, and this, today's example is going to be if they're using a computer, a Chromebook, or a laptop. Now, this is different than the directions for using the Google Classroom app on an Android phone or the Google Classroom app on an iPhone or iPad. Those directions will be linked below the video. For this example, again, it's a computer, Chromebook, or laptop. So we'll follow the directions one step at a time, and we'll also take a look at some common errors that might come up if you're helping your own child log into Google Classroom for the first time. So step one, it says, go to classroom.google.com. So we're going to open up a new tab, and we're going to type in classroom.google.com, no space bars, and then we're going to press enter. Hmm. Okay, so it says Google Classroom in the top left, and over here it says create or join your first class. And here's a plus sign, and the teacher was nice enough to give us right here this join code. So this is the join code my student needs. My child needs that join code. So we're going to come to the plus sign in the top right, single click it, and we're going to press join class. And then we're going to type in that join code, and we're going to press join. Uh-oh, says that code isn't valid, so make sure you type the correct code. Well. Let's backspace that and double check, see if the teacher gave us the right code. EQ47PHL. Okay, we pretty sure we did the right code. Let's try again. We'll paste that code in or type it in and press join. And we have the same message. Now, before you reach out to your teacher and say, hey, something's wrong, that code's not working, we know we double checked it. Let's see what else is going on. I'm going to press cancel. Let's see over here what, ah, this computer is already logged into a Google account. Soccer man here, Mr. Soccer man 787 at gmail.com. Oh, that's the parent's Gmail account. Even though the parent X'd out of their Gmail, they're still logged in with their Google account on this computer. And the problem with our with our HowellSchools.com account, the, our Google Classroom here at Howell Schools is set up to only accept emails that are in the HowellSchools.com domain. So it's blocking this from joining. So what we're going to need to do is sign out of this Gmail account and try again. So to sign out of this Gmail account, we're going to single click on the Google account icon. We're going to come all the way down to the bottom and sign out. And now we can start over. Again, that was classroom.google.com. So we're going to go there one more time classroom.google.com and we're going to come down here to use another account because I want to make sure I type it in correctly and we're going to type in our students howellschools.com email even though my students in third grade their email is not activated I'm still going to use my gmail address for howellschools.com I'm going to press next I'm going to put in my students top secret password press next and now you'll notice there's a whole bunch of other classes, but your student might not have any Google Classrooms here. Theirs might be blank. So you're still going to come up to the plus sign. And let's remember, we're now logged in with uh, poppinsm at howellschools.com. So this is going to work. Plus sign. And now we're going to put that code in and press join. And let's see if we have success now. Ah, now we're in the Google Classroom, and it's because we were logged in as the wrong account. Okay, you guys, I hope that helps. I hope that we're able to get our children signed into their HowellSchools.com Google account. Reach out to us if you guys have any questions.